Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Here's an item on evaluation. Evaluate this expression here. Now, credits to the Southeast Asian Math Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, whenever we're given with this type of like an evaluation problem, uh, we might want to see what's the, like, the pattern for it. And we kind of see the pattern. It's just like 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, and so on. And so just 1 over a positive integer, and that's the pattern. But there isn't really a nice way to get like this, this, uh, any, of, any of the four numbers here, actually. There isn't really a nice formula to get like 1 over something. So even though we know the pattern is, maybe we want to try something different. And well, obviously, we don't want to add them like 1 by 1 to see what's going to be like a pattern. So what we would do here is going to be a representation. So it's a very neat trick because it helps you simplify stuff as you can see, as you, as you will see in the solution. So for example, let's just take uh, the first term over here and let's just call it M. I don't know what M is, but surely it's going to be, uh, it's going to help us out here. Now, why did I try to use like the representation here? It's because the four terms here, it looks very similar. And we can, we can obviously see it uh, after we substitute the M. For example, if the first one is M, well, obviously this becomes an M. Now the green expression, that's just M. And then there is a one in the front. That's why I added one over here. And then I'm subtracting one over 2017 because, well, it's only up to like one over 2016 in this case. So that's why I will have the green expression as M plus one minus 2017, sorry, minus one over 2017. And then for the red one, well, I think it's pretty obvious that um, it's just going to be the blue part, which is this one. And then there's a one in the front. That's why I added, I used M plus one over here to represent the red expression. Now for the yellow expression, well, it's just the blue expression over here, but it's only until one over 2016. So it's just M and then subtracting one over 2017. So that's, the, uh, that's my point here. Um, like the, those four things inside the parentheses are kind of similar. So probably a representation is going to help us simplify stuff. Again, I don't know what M is, but this form here, it's going to be like easier to work with. So we can, try, we can just use our skills in algebra to simplify this. So let's try to do that. Now we can do some simplification first. The one minus 2017, that's gonna be simply 2016 over 2017. Now, all we have to do is just expand and maybe something nice is going to happen. So M times M, that's just equals M squared and then M times 2016 over 2017. This, this is just distribution scales, uh, sorry, the distributive property. So this will become the result of the first thing here. And then for the second part, we can just try to use FOIL or whatever, whatever method you would like. So M times M, that's going to give me M squared. One times M, that's going to give me M. M times 1 over 2017, it's going to give me the minus 1 over 2017 M. And then lastly, 1 times the 2017 over here, it's going to give me 1, sorry, it's going to give me the minus 1 over 2017. So everything so far is just manipulation by algebra. And let's try to see things here. We can simplify things further. M minus 1 over 2017 M, that's just simply 2016 over 2017 M and then we can just try to remove the parentheses here. So minus M squared, make sure to distribute the sign to, um, to all of the three expressions here, as you can see. So it's become minus M squared minus 2016 over 2017 M and then plus, two, plus one over 2017. And this is the part where uh, nice stuff is going to happen because we can cancel the m squared, we can cancel the 2016 over 2017 m as follows. And what remains is something that doesn't even have m. So that thing at the start, it only simplifies into, it simplifies into 1 over 2017. So sometimes a nice representation, it's going to help you solve an item. And since we don't, like from our observations, we don't have like a nice formula to get any of the four sums, then a representation might be um, the key trick here. Anyways, hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!